Beyond the $26.5 billion in damages Hurricane Andrew invoked, it also quickly shed light on the need to preserve and protect our natural coastal areas to prevent erosion and stabilize our shorelines. No place felt the wrath of the storm more than a small barrier island just south of Miami. Virginia Key is an 863-acre spit of land that serves as a buffer zone for turbulent weather headed for the city. Unfortunately, at the time of Hurricane Andrew, 70% of Virginia Key Beach was made up of invasive exotic plants. As a result, the area, as with much of South Miami, was unable to withstand the Category 5 blast of punishing winds, and much of the area was devastated. Years of neglect and constant urban sprawl had finally taken its toll, and without help, Virginia Key would be facing the point of no return. Inner Citizens for a Better South Florida. Founded in 1988, they took hold of Virginia Key Beach, and with their mission to educate and inspire local citizens to be better stewards of the land, their grassroots efforts took hold. Through community-wide cleanup efforts and the goal of eradicating invasive species, today exotic plants represent only 5% of the hammock habitat, and over 30 acres have been restored. However, restoration efforts on Virginia Key Beach need constant attention, and today's project will be one more positive step in helping to protect the island from the continual spread of invasive exotic plants and animals. Our mission for today will be to continue on in the restoration efforts and partner with the Citizens for a Better South Florida to help refurbish a protected section of Virginia Key. Now, in order to tackle a variety of different projects, we've broken everyone up into five separate groups and assigned each one a different color. Once you arrive at your project location, your project leader will provide you with a safety briefing as well as an overview on the specific tasks at hand. Depending on your project, you may also be split up into subgroups so that you can tackle several different tasks simultaneously. Now, let's take a look at today's projects. Red Team, you'll be headed over to the nursery where you'll be working to plant and resoil indigenous vegetation so they can be used in future restoration projects. Blue Team, you'll be headed out to the beach where you'll break up into subgroups and assist with the beach cleanup efforts as well as the removal of invasive species. Yellow Team, You'll be given the opportunity to help animate the butterfly garden by painting and installing oversized murals, as well as assisting with some restoration efforts. White team, you'll be working to repair and revive sections of the existing nature trail by removing invasive species and clearing brush and debris. Green team, you'll be given the opportunity to paint and restore some of the large metal storage containers to provide the area with a more appealing and camouflaged look. Now, before we arrive on site, here are a few tips to ensure that everyone has a safe and productive day. Number one, ensure you're wearing proper footwear. Virginia Key Beach requires that all volunteers wear closed-toed shoes and offer ample support. So please, no flip-flops, sandals, or eight-inch stiletto heels. Number two, you'll find yourself moving or lifting larger cumbersome objects. To ensure that you avoid injury, we ask that you practice the rules of safe lifting by bending at the knees, lifting with your legs, and never trying to pick something up that you're not comfortable with. When in doubt, you can always ask a fellow participant for assistance. Number three, be sure to always look twice before picking something up. Some of you may be outdoors where you could stumble upon an unwanted creature that might mistaken you for an afternoon snack. When in doubt, leave it where it lies and you can always grab it later. Number four, Please keep in mind that you're in a wildlife area. Because of this, we ask that you do not feed the animals even if they seem friendly. And last but not least, number five. We ask that you stay hydrated throughout the day. There will be plenty of water stations throughout the facility, so please don't be shy about drinking water. All in all, today's projects will have a huge impact on the Virginia Key Beach, and your hard work will allow future generations to truly enjoy this amazing facility. Your restoration efforts will also help ensure that South Florida can better withstand the next hurricane. Now, let's get to work. 